A number of you have asked about the Amish and Thanksgiving. So the Amish do celebrate Thanksgiving similarly to how other Americans celebrate the holiday. Now, we typically associate the Amish with religious holidays, but they also do observe some non-religious holidays. One example that comes to mind is Valentine's Day. Uh, Amish will uh, have Valentine's suppers. Children may exchange Valentine cards. The youth may exchange uh, candy boxes. So that's one example of a non-religious uh, holiday, although most holidays the Amish will observe have a religious basis. Well, Thanksgiving is one they celebrate. Now, another thing is we always say when it comes to the Amish, communities are different, so practices could be different in different places or, of course, between different families. But generally, it's a, it's a day of rest. Most businesses are going to be closed, though that can vary. I'll get to that in a second. You're going to have a family time. You're going to get together for a big meal, of course, spending a day together with family, visiting. So businesses are going to be closed generally on Thanksgiving Day in Amish communities. Uh, you may have some variation on that. One example that I found would be in the Harmony, Minnesota community, which is a source and true Amish settlement. It's a quite plain community. Uh, there they would just have uh, businesses closed on Thanksgiving morning. One of our uh, contributor, Don Burke, uh, found that when he visited the community at Clark, Missouri, that uh, businesses were closed there. And he took some photos from around the settlement that day, which you can see here. He also noticed that some of the Amish were holding church that day, which is something that you'll see in some places on Thanksgiving. So that's a generally the Amish celebrate similarly to non-Amish people with the food and visiting. You know, you'll have family over, different families may take turns hosting the meal. So you may have your brother's family over one year, and you may go to your sister's home the next year. Obviously, with the Amish having such huge families, it can be difficult to get the entire extended family of, you know, let's say 10 siblings with all of their own children together in one place. I've also heard that some Amish will do multiple meals over the kind of Thanksgiving period. You may find that weddings are taking place on Thanksgiving Day in some communities because the autumn season is the traditional wedding season. Although in some communities that's changed and weddings are held more or less year round in a lot of places now. You can see my video on that. So I looked for some written accounts from Amish talking about the types of foods that they serve uh, at Thanksgiving. Gloria Yoder, who writes the Amish Cook column, uh, wrote about this, and she said that, For us, Christmas meals and Thanksgiving feasts are a lot alike, with mashed potatoes, gravy, turkey, stuffing, at least when my grandma planned it, a veggie, salad, sometimes a fruit salad, and pies or another sweet treat. She said, as far as the visiting and things they do, they said, usually we gather with family or friends and spend the day together. When I was a young girl, I used to always look forward to playing all sorts of board games in the afternoon. And that's something the Amish will often do when they have get-togethers they visit. The, a lot of them like to play board games. I've played board games often with Amish friends. Uh, a couple examples would be Settlers of Catan, which is a game that's quite popular, uh, at least in the Lancaster County community. I've played a game called Farmopoly with, uh, with Amish friends. That's kind of a farm version of Monopoly. You'll also have a lot of singing. Uh, when, when families get together, Amish sing quite beautifully. Another sample meal from Levina Eicher, who writes the column uh, Levina's Amish Kitchen. Her sister's family came over, joined us all for the Thanksgiving dinner, and she wrote that I put the turkeys in about 6 a.m., and they were ready by a little after 11 a.m. We sat down for the meal at noon. We added an 8-foot table to our normal 10-foot kitchen table and put out 19-place settings. And as far as the food, Levinas says, I prepared an 18-pound turkey and a 21-pound turkey. We had a lot left over. On the menu, besides turkey, was mashed potatoes, gravy, dressing, which I stuffed in both turkeys, mixed vegetables, corn, overnight salad, express salad. I don't know what those two are, by the way. Dill pickles, hot peppers, sliced cheese, homemade bread, butter, strawberry jam, a cheese ball and crackers, veggies and dip, pumpkin roll, angel food cake, homemade Reese's bars, ice cream, and pumpkin, pecan, and peanut butter pies. So a lot of food there. She also says her sisters brought food as well, so there was more than enough. It certainly sounds like it. That sounds like a great feast. You may see some other events tied to Thanksgiving. One example would be Amish schools will often do holiday programs where they're basically putting on skits, some singing. Uh, they invite the parents to come. 
typically see this at Christmas, but uh, some schools may do like a Thanksgiving program. Phil Sarlo had the opportunity to film Amish children singing for a Thanksgiving program in an Ohio school, which you can see here. They're singing a song called And Father We Thank You, which was written by a local Amish writer. Uh, another thing I found, some communities may, might do a benefit uh, event open to the public, specifically a, a Thanksgiving dinner that would be intended to generate funds uh, benefiting the local Amish schools. Just a few days ago as I'm recording this, the community in Bowling Green, Missouri, did such a dinner to benefit their local schools. It was basically on a donation basis. So they prepare some food and the public can come and enjoy the food and leave a donation to help the schools. It's a nice example of Amish and non-Amish coming together there for a nice event that has a good purpose to it. Another example would come from Gloria Yoder again. She wrote one year, uh, a few years ago, about a widow's dinner that they do in her community where they invite the women that have been widowed in the community to come for a special Thanksgiving supper. So just some examples of other events you may see uh, connected with the Thanksgiving holiday. So ultimately, the emphasis of this day is on being thankful. Just a couple examples. I happened to be in Holmes County, Ohio uh, at around Thanksgiving time several years ago, and an Amish friend of mine named Myron shared a poem with me called I Am Thankful, a poem of Thanksgiving. And I'll include a link to that here in the description. Not a very Amish sounding poem in some of its themes, I would, I would say. I don't believe it's written by an Amish person, but at the same time, it kind of gives a little perspective. I ended up sharing it with some Amish friends in that community after I got it from Myron, and they seemed to like it as well. Finally, just to give you another quote from uh, Levina Eicher of the Amish Kitchen column, she wrote that Thanksgiving is a day to remember the many blessings we have, a time to sing praises unto the Lord, thanking him for all he has done a day to spend with family and friends making new memories, a day to remember how blessed we are to have another bountiful harvest to put up for the long cold winter. Do we appreciate our blessings enough? How often we take for granted that we have plenty of food and a warm place to stay. A holiday such as Thanksgiving Day is a nice time to reflect on all of our blessings, but let us also remember to thank God daily. With that, I want to say thank you to all you viewers. I really appreciate uh, you following this channel, watching the videos, leaving comments, uh, sharing your own experiences. I've really, I've actually learned a good bit of things from all of you. Um, I've appreciated all the kind words, uh, some of the good humor you've shared in the comments as well. So thanks a lot. And I, I'm really wishing you a happy Thanksgiving.